Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, November 6th. You're here at the Chaos Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Working Group. Um, we have not surprisingly a light group today. So yeah, I am gonna share my screen. The minutes are in the chat, but if you would like them again, we are happy to do that. And if you didn't know or didn't remember, we have all of the Chaos Working Group minutes in one document now, which is actually loading today, <laughs> whatever the issues were yesterday. Uh, seem to have been fixed on Google's end. I think it was just the internet in general. Like, it I was think, weird, right? It, yeah, yeah, I think there were so many people like streaming and being online yesterday. That's my guess. Because be. I had troubles even at home. Yeah, I did too. Like just on um, you know streaming Hulu kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I I did um, load yesterday. It loaded for me, uh, but like. I just wanted to see, like, I really like the idea because I, I, I didn't catch up when we decided to do this, but I really like this idea of having everything in one place. So, yeah, yeah, I, I like it too. I was thinking, uh, Elizabeth, if it gets really big, remember how we used to like, I'm not saying do this right now, but archive minutes? Mm. I think we still do. I was planning on that. Yeah, I was planning on like, I don't know, I mean, I guess we can ask the community, but just archiving this doc and like start maybe starting and like copy it over yeah, and like, then like everything but the last minute. Mm -hmm. It's not that far back. Like yeah, the last we, can, we can do one next year, maybe. Fresh yeah. Start. So then this doc would just be called the 2024 Chaos Working Group Minutes. Yeah, then I would copy point. this. Mm -hmm. Actually, I like yeah. that idea quite a bit. So you would just co like copy it. You would just create a copy of the whole thing and just name that copy like 2024 archive and then just yep. go through each one of them and just delete everything that's in there except for that top. Yep. Oh, or maybe top. like the last meeting. I usually keep like the like the December meeting just so we can remember yep. what it was, but mm -hmm. yep. That's a really good idea. Cause I do think I, I could see, even if yesterday was cuckoo with the internet, I could see how these big docs, they they do really like lag sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Okay. And then it's like, right now it's kind of hard to find like a, a conversation that happened last year. Like if you mm -hmm. don't know exactly when or what meeting. So um, I do also like the fact that we can search all of the minutes at once. <laughs> So, because there's the entire thing for a for a keyword to see who's talking uh, about what. So, yep, nice. no, I like I like it a lot. I like the design a lot. Maybe that can be like well, that can be like a Christmas break, like mm -hmm. a holiday break thing to do. That seems like it would take yep. it just an hour or so. So the, um, actually, I wonder if we should keep this the same, what? keep the URLs the same, because otherwise the, that URL will change. So um, just yeah. keep, like copy this and put it over there, but keep this one as the main. Yep. And yeah. then you just delete everything out of this one. Yep. 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 A couple of minutes after a couple of meetings. Just so I do need to still go through and change all the meetings uh, on the calendar. I'm just going to put that in here. But just add the, the link. Mm hmm Because I think some some of those we do link to the minutes in the calendar description, so. Okay. Cool. Okie dokie. Yep. So I think everybody on this call has already heard all of this stuff. Um, so this might be a super quick meeting. Um, just want to remind everybody, please take this survey. If you know people, please encourage them to also take the survey. Yesterday, we only had 35 responses. Last year, we had, or two years ago, we had 61. And the any, community is way larger, so. Any change since yesterday? I didn't look. I didn't look. I can do that. I'll, I'll do that off offline. Um, but, I also am going to post something in general. I'm going to I'm going to at channel the whole thing and just encourage people to do it. Yeah. I didn't oh, want to model. Oh, go ahead. 
I just thought that's a good idea. Yeah, I didn't want to muddle it up with the because we made some chaos con announcements yesterday too in the general. So I didn't want to flood, but I will probably do that later today. Okay. Or tomorrow. Um, this is a big deal here. If you have not heard, the CFP for chaos con is open. We just opened that yesterday after the community meeting. So you can submit your talk right here. And these are, we have these two recommended types, but if you have something else in mind, you can also um, submit that. That would be fun. And you all know how to get a hold of us. Yeah. <laughs> we know how to get a hold of everybody. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, so that's that. Also, registration is open. And if you are working for a company that does sponsor things, we could really use the help. So that would be great. Um, any questions about ChaosCon before I go on to Boston? Are we, well, I guess maybe, uh, I mean, do we, is everything pretty straightforward or like pretty in order as far as we know, like the hotel and all that stuff? The hotel is fine. The social is still up in the air. Okay. Um, I, I think Georg is working with the company to, to try does. to see if we can get the sponsorship in the next few days anyway, you know, so okay that's really the only piece that's still up in the air but that we've we have made contact with them so they know that we want to do the thing we just okay. haven't confirmed with them so. okay um i did order well i haven't ordered yet but i put in the request for chaos socks chaos <laughs> socks heck yeah I've nice. never been. <laughs> chaos socks before so <laughs> we've never had them so nope very exciting um and then also i think um while I while I would do it, I would put in an order for t-shirts too, but I wanted to do something a little different. Like I'm so uncreative <laughs> when it comes to t-shirts. <laughs> I just like pick t-shirt and put logo on the t-shirt. So I'm wondering if maybe I should ask for some t-shirt designs. I know I've done that in the past, mm -hmm. but something that's a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I think. Maybe we could you could drop a request on the design channel. What can you okay. see? Even if it's just simple. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I mean that chaotic sticker too still goes at, at like hotcakes. You know, and the chaos one does too, but the chaotic one does even more. So if we do want, um, if if there is a new T-shirt design, maybe there's something else, a new sticker as well we can do. Okay. Too. I mean, I was kind of just thinking something simpler, like just the logo somehow, just the circle. The circle would be cool. <clears throat> you mean for a sticker or a T-shirt or both? Well, actually, both. I didn't even think about a sticker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not the creative one either. So no, I defer I'm to like, that. Maybe I'll be creative, and then I'm like, I just like put the put the logo on a t-shirt. Like, just do that. <laughs> <Right>. The <laughs> biggest creativity is like how high or how low the logo is. I like spend a certain amount of time yeah. on that issue. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it's a great t-shirt this time. Wow. <laughs> about where I am too. Okay, any other um, questions, comments, discussion on Chaos Con EU? I've not made any travel arrangements yet. Have you, Matt? No. Okay. That's it's on the list. I think, yeah, last year I think I did it in November at some point, but I haven't done it yet. Hey, Ruth, that'd be great. If Ruth is coming. Ruth, oh my gosh. Does that mean I finally get to meet you in person? Oh, it's, it's going to be a big hug. I just be ready. Just be ready for me to invade your personal space because I will hug you so hard. I cannot wait. <laughs> Are you going to stay at the Bedford again? Yeah, I probably will. I liked it. It was fun. Yeah. It was nice. I like being right there where the conference is too. Just sure. it's a nice area too. You weren't yeah. far or anything. No, it wasn't too far. 
-hmm. Been trying Air Airbnbs more. Yeah. I'm still a little, if I'm traveling by myself, I'm not, a, I, I get a little, I don't know, feel sus, but um, yeah. There are some nice ones around there. I did one two years ago. Last year I did a hotel. How many are you looking for the minutes? I think that's maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and talk about FOSTEM since we're talking about it. Uh, if you have not heard the um, dev rooms are most of the dev rooms I think are open. There, I pulled out a couple that might be of interest to this group, in particular, the community dev room, which, um, so if you go to the schedule, there's all the developer rooms. So each developer room does their own CFP, kind of like does their own little mini conference. They, they're just given a room at the, it's held at a university, they just pick rooms and give them to people. So it's very fluid. Um, it's a very different sort of con conference. There's you know, you're just kind of going from building to building, room to room, based on what you're interested in. So um, these are all the different rooms. So it's it's a huge conference. It's a huge conference, but also not um, not like your typical conference that has like three tracks. Everybody's in the same building all the time. It's not like that at all. Um, so the ones that we thought or that I thought might be of interest to this, and I didn't. There might be others that I kind of glossed over. Um, but the community room is right here. So you can see more about what they're looking for. I think this would be very um, pertinent to this group in particular. So if you have an idea for a talk, please submit. And here's how you do that. Justin, uh, speaking slots are we, Justin, Christy, Justin, Christy and I had um, done a community room talk. It was nice. Oh, good. Yeah. Last year. No, I mean, we didn't submit it this year, but like we gave oh. last year. Yeah. That's a good crap. Miss that. Oh, wait, yeah. I do remember that. It was it about was the... the the audit stuff that we were doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did remember that. And then the other one I want to bring up here was inclusive web, which they don't have their thing open yet. So just keep an eye on on that. And then if there's any other, of course, that are, you know, of, of interest to you personally, mm -hmm. go ahead and check out. Very interesting conference. Mm, it really is. I wonder what government collaboration is about. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's the, it's at the, I see like that sovereign tech fund, the mm -hmm. center of sovereignty. And I think that's connected to that. Yeah, hmm. interesting. Just wondering if there was like any talks about like social digital infrastructure or social good. Like, oh, those were those digital public goods, the DPG mm -hmm. stuff that we're talking about. Yep. yep. Okay. This one might be interesting too. The funding part, I think, is interesting. Yeah, there's a bunch. This I felt like this time there were more that I kind of had an interest in seeing who was talking and what they were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff. And then of course, some highly technical stuff, but also just kind of a, a mixed bag. The third one, GraphQL, Open API, and friends. <laughs> What's up, what do they consider friends? APIs and friends. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yeah, so that's that. So submit if you're interested. I might submit a couple things just for the heck of it. We'll mm -hmm. see. Uh, anybody have questions about FOSTEM? Or kind of like how that goes or any of that? Okay. I wanted to make sure everybody knew we do have a couple more new Badger orientations coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, these are meant to be a little more um, Asia Pacific friendly. 
so uh, it will be in the evening for them, but not super late, hopefully. So like 7, 8 p.m. I think um, for China. So maybe earlier for the rest of the folks. So I wanted to let you know about that. I They're on the calendar. I should have linked to the like actual calendar entry, but I did not do that. So you'll have, to, you get, doing, you'll have to get the chaos calendar. Are you doing them? Am I doing them? Yeah. yeah. Is there anybody in like Asia who would be good enough, like who has been doing badging for a while that might be comfortable running those sessions at any yeah. friendlier time? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, Divya has done a few badge badger. Uh, she's done a few applications. Um, we did have two folks, actually three folks specifically, reach out to get the orientation from that area from Asia. So I think once we start to get a bigger pool, then they can host them in a more friendly time, like during the okay. day. Yeah. And so you don't have to run them like kind of yeah. first thing in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so even if I, because I looked at it, even if I did it in the evening, like it would have to be pretty late my time, you know, like 10 p.m. or something like that. So to run the metrics model meeting, it was like eight o'clock your time. And that was really early for, for folks. For that, right. So it's like, okay, well, hopefully this works at least a little bit better than the ones that we host at, you know, noon of my time, which is like midnight, 1 a.m., something like that. So, yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Anybody have questions about that? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Uh, and then we talked about the minutes. Um, I see some badging updates. Anonymous Walrus is giving us an update as we speak. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I think this is related to the thread from like Sarah Boyce on the DI channel. So I think one of the things like the concern was about like rights permissions with project badging bots. So um I was going to ask like if we make the decision to separate like the two like the APIs are housed together or in the same location. So the way we'll solve that is to separate the two and um I think I think I was supposed to be here but she had like a, a clash. So she said she had spoken to Desmond about it and um Enoch is also supposed to be here but he said he was going to join late so maybe if he joins he might add some things but um technically speaking it's just going to be like separating the two of them together um, and then we could sort, sort that problem out. So I was going to ask if there are any concerns with that. It makes sense to me. And actually it makes sense even without the comments from Sarah to have yeah. these running differently. Okay, so no concerns. No. Okay. Um... So I guess the um, only thing that we would have to keep track of is if like GitHub or GitLab changed the way they um, changed their a API. Is that would that matter? Or is I think that for Adinka or you know? Okay. That should drop it would be this, but if there yeah if there was a change it would just have to go in both places. But I don't I don't think that that's a huge deal right yeah i don't think so maybe just be to update things or if it is a big deal maybe that can be like a separate layer so like it grabs the information and then it separates or something like that i don't i don't know i'm not the technical person i don't know why i'm even speaking right now because i don't have enough information to even have an opinion on this <laughs> i'm just going to tag a new guy here so like she um takes note of this i know like for the other issue um i think someone someone joined from the good docs project that's trying to also apply um i think they are working on top of that one so i think that would also have to send maybe do a manual review for good docs as well yeah and i mean for the time being doing a manual review for the project badge is really not 
that complex and we're not getting so many applications that it's, it's taking up a lot of time or anything is what do you have the I, I don't have i don't think i have access to the form so if you need like could help review some yes i do it's in the um so i posted the form in slack for sarah but the back end like the where the responses go is all in the chaos community drive hmm. there's a form under the chaos badging okay. project badging for folder which I can find it. I'll link it to you. Yeah. So if you want to see like the the responses and have access to yeah. edit the form, that's what you mean. Okay. And then I think do we still have the email? Sorry, I'm having lunch. So yeah, we do. I think it's like chaos badging or something like that. But I'm pretty sure we do have that. Yes, actually, I know we have that. So if you need the password to send that email, um, I can get that for you. Okay, great. Um, well, yeah, I, I think so far, I think budget has been going well. Um, yeah. well that'll be I do great. plan to submit some talks next year for project budget, so by having like a lot of Yeah, that would be great. I feel like that is, if anything, has been the struggle for us is just keeping the word going, you know, that promotion piece is like so much work, <laughs> like all of us are so busy. So yeah, if there were talks about it to be even the more the merrier, you know, the more talks, the better, because I think it will just take a lot of time. It will just take time for people to for understand yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And more efforts to like putting up together. That yeah. Idea. Yep. So slowly but surely we'll get there. I did see on the event badging, we're at 191 on the web page now, which is great. And I had a sense just kind of watching them come across in Slack, the applications that they're really starting to open up a little bit. Yeah, true. Diversifying, which is really cool. They are diversifying. Yeah, it's not just LF only, <laughs> only anymore. I mean, yeah. I think they're still the but we get we do get some from other folks which is awesome agreed all right cool any other questions for ruth on badging or comments no i think it's going great too it's nice to see it all seems pretty stable at the moment in that kind of wood yeah it really does that team's doing such great work. Okay, I think we're at the end of the agenda. So thank you everybody for hanging tough and sticking around with us today on a very weird day. Um, appreciate you all. We'll see you here same time in two weeks, two weeks, right? Oh, I should have mentioned the, let me just check the calendar really quick. Is two weeks? No, it's not. 20, yeah. Okay. Before. For and those I'm... who weren't at community yesterday, we will be taking the US is taking off the week of Thanksgiving, which is the last week of November, and, and that includes this meeting, but then we're taking off from December 6th to January 9th, or something like that, December 9th to January 6th. Yes, chaos community, go ahead. Oh, no. Sorry, I didn't know I joined as chaos comment. Sorry. I thought this you were shaking me. <laughs> no this is peculiar i had a recording with someone so i didn't know i didn't sign off i still joined the meeting like that so sorry yeah no worries yeah so i okay thank you i was looking at for the agenda so i can put in this but before the meeting ends i want to say something about the update from education project so uh, for some time now i have not given any updates about that because i'm trying to get things up and have a lot of uh, video ready before i can update but i want to like clean up the education report there were some issues as there are some people earlier that were interested 
and working on one topic or the other. So I created issue and assigned board. That was like last year and some this year. But I'm still waiting for them to come up. So um, my cleaning up, uh, trying to close those issues in case anyone here, your, one of the issues that we assigned to you is one of them. So I'm going to be cl closing them up. But if you are available, you have time to come up, you can maybe let me know if you're working on any of them. So I won't close that. But for other ones that I'm still expecting people to work on, I'll be closing those issues. Uh, but not the topic though. And I'm going to make the topic available again for some people that are interested to pick up those um, topic to work on. So please um, have a look at the education project and see if one of the topic is the one that assigned to you and you have been preparing to work on it. So please do well to help me. Just make a comment there. Let me know that you are now working on it. But after this week, I'm going to be closing up those ones that some people are still busy, so busy to work on and then open them up again to see if I can get new contributors to work on them. Yeah, that's for that. Then the next one is that, yes, we have some videos and some um, scripts ready at this moment. And thanks to contributors during the, yes, you're owing me a review. Thanks to contributors during the Hacktober first. That was really amazing. Some persons come in, they really did an amazing job during that period. At least I had more contributors that month. So thumbs up to Hacktober first and all that. Then, so another thing about education project is uh, why, the, why we've not really like have a whole lot of things completed is that sometimes the video record the recorded video are not like amazing so it takes time to like get the person to re-record you know so and some of them some contributors this is the first time they're maybe recording a video and they're still trying to get used to how to record video and all that so those actually sometimes take time for to get them and some contributors might tell you that, ah, recording the video, I don't want to do that, but I can write and I can just prepare the slide and let someone else record. So, but most times what's holding some things is about recording and re-recording the video to actually get it right and make it perfect. So um, that's the update for um, education project and we need more hands, more review at this time. I need more review, like I wanted to make a post today. I need someone to review a topic on open source in education. So if you are up and you're available, please just like, let me know so I can assign that particular issue to you so we can join the reviewers. And again, I don't know, for the issue I mentioned before, the issues I'm going to close and the ones that if anyone here is, like I'm not saying anyone if Elizabeth is ready to work on that issue or root or Enoch, if you are ready to work on one of the topics I assigned earlier, please just make a comment there. So I will close it by next week. So that's all I have the update. And again, Matt, I will be coming back to your team to find out. For what we have already, yeah, for what we have already, um, is there a way we can have like a general review for what we have already? That's the videos that are ready now. Is there a way we can have like a general um review on those so we can launch? Yeah, and I think um, so first of all, thank you for all of this work. This is amazing. And um if it don't feel bad if it's slow. <laughs> slow and steady is the way to go. So no problem there. Um, you know, I think maybe um, we should start talking about 
what videos have been recorded and kind of what is the like what what are all the parts that are available to us like right now um because it might be nice to if we have say six videos how do you know how many videos we have recorded at the moment that are kind of I'll count, I'll get, uh, I'll look at that to get all of them. So I'll let you know. Okay. Because if it's, I was thinking if it's, say, a half a dozen, say it's six, you know, it might be worth doing a blog post, just really short or something on LinkedIn, where we kind of package them together and say, hey, we're doing this education project. Here are some really nice videos that you could share with people to help them understand open source a little bit more. You know, our motives for doing this is that educating people on what open source is all about is healthy for everybody. The more people who can participate, the better. Something really, really simple. I mean, it okay. might be enough like, just to get the education stuff out there to the public a bit more. Yeah, I think that um, Peculiar had written a blog post, and I think it got it uh, stuck in the bottleneck of the comms. Um, I don't think it ever got published to the <clears throat> to the blog, so I'll track that down. Maybe okay. we can use that as a as a base, and then just add the something in about here's what we've done already. Yeah. Yeah. Here are the six. Here are the six okay. complete like quote courses that you can take. Let me just. Put it yeah. Okay, I'll did that, uh, Elizabeth. Okay, so that's all from me. I'm going to look at how many videos we have ready. Then okay. I'll collect all those and share. So we can like have a general view, review of them and be sure that this is actually what we want to put out there. So okay. once that is okay, then we can then go ahead. With Perfect. Them. Are we still planning to put them in like Moodle or something like that, a uh, learning management? Or are we going to leave them in the repo? No, we are still going to put them there because why i've not like put them up there because i need to do this uh, final review before i can put them up there i don't want to put something that is not perfect so once this is done once we have like six or more and then we have the general review i will, then I will put them all that'd be great Yeah, well done, quickly. Um, I see that Enoch is here, <laughs> and I actually dragged him to the meeting before, so I don't know if you know. We talked about the badging stuff. Um, I don't know if you had any thoughts. Um, one of the things we nobody had a concern with separating the badging API. Um. Uh, the event and the project one. So I don't know if, and I, I spoke to Idinka as well this month, um, talked about doing it, but didn't see any issues with doing it. So, um, and then we had just one, Elizabeth talked about if we needed to keep track of GitHub or GitLab changes in the API as well. So the floor is over to you, Enoch. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't sure of the agenda, so I was just listening in to see whether you guys talked about the issue or you've you've not yet talked about it. And um, uh, it's been a long time, and I hope I do not say anything that has been deliberated on before in previous meetings. But according to the threads that are in Slack and the issues raised by Sarah, um. Um, I think there is a concern about what kind of um uh, what kind of what should I call the permissions that are being accessed by the authentication that's trying to make sure that everything um runs well and the kind of data that we access from GitHub. But the problem is, since we have two since we have two implementations. One implementation requires more permissions than the other one, and it makes um, the other implement it makes 
it makes the permissions to the other implementation quite unnecessary to have. And probably people applying to one, to project budging are, I, I shouldn't say, they are they may sometimes be less informed that actually we need the permissions also for event budging. So they're kind of overwhelmed about why we need all those permissions for something that doesn't look like it needs those permissions. So um, I think most of it stems from the fact that they are not sure that we're actually using the authentication for more than what they actually are, are here for. So I think that's where the debate is. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether you, you've had deliberations about it, but um, my concern is if 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 we're to separate if if we're to separate these um this kind of authentication um i don't know how it plays out i've not thought about it from um from um, a technical level yet i i see there is possibility all i know is um it may probably prompt to changing of um not the website but kind of splitting the website to be very, very um different because you won't have a way you 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 join some of those things together the way the website is right now. Because since the website was one, the permission, the authentication had to be one thing. So then the other thing we could do really maybe is <laughs> to educate the people that are seeking to have the budging that hey um uh, this is a whole bigger thing than actually what you came for. It's more than project badging, and we need to have some of that 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 permission to carry out some of those tasks. So that that's where the conversation is from my point of view. I'm not sure where, whether this conversation has been carried out here in DEI. I was just speaking from my own um, perspective of how I was seeing things according to the threads and messages that were exchanged. So the concern would be, <clears throat> the concern would be, do we, um, um, do we separate, um, do we separate project budging and event budging right now, or do we explicitly tell people that the permissions that you're seeing actually it's because the whole website has to do two things, and probably you came here for one thing and. It makes it overwhelming to you. Um, before you joined, we had kind of we were leaning towards having two bots. Yeah, One. yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I think that's the way to go. Okay. Yeah, I I, I thought you had talked about it. I wasn't just sure, so I I was quite quiet. <laughs> yeah, I talked about the, the only thing like we just asked for if there was any concern, and. Um, like personally, I think we'll keep having that question where people come in and like ask why is this happening, yeah. even though you put like a prompt there that says, you know, this is for this. So if we can separate it without any potential issues or, you know, I think we should go for it. Yeah, I, I, and I, I, I think I think that's fair. And I don't know whether you talked about something that I realized in the permissions that it's interesting that when you access when you try to give permissions to the authentication process to access the user information, there is no way you could separate the user's private emails from public emails. Like the permission just doesn't have that granular level for getting um, only the public emails of the user. It just, it's just not there. Yeah, I think we we'll just not... have to explain that mm -hmm. to them. Like there's no like we can only do the one we can <laughs> like so it's it was quite interesting how many more scopes are actually like that where there is no separation between private and public information or private and public um implementation in case you want to have it you have to have both sides of um the information but i'm glad you talked about it and um, I, I would go with your consensus too, and we see how that plays out. Um, but currently, uh, all I know is Desmond is trying to fix. I was, I texted him earlier two hours before, two hours before this time, and he was trying to fix 
um, the current pending issue and maybe there could be a conversation about how we start um, separating those two things. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Hold on this one as well. Cool. Thank you. Good conversation. I'm just just curious. Um, do we? This is biweekly, which I. This this meeting is biweekly. Correct. Do we have? Yeah, we moved. Up, but... <laughs> yes. Oh no! I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we merged all the agendas together, so we have one central place now. Uh, that shows how <laughs> much I um you need I a lot know. to catch up. <laughs> you need to do a lot of catch up. Okay, yeah, because because at one point when I was following up, I was like, are we just going through points as they come or there is something that we're following? Okay, thank you. I think you joined when we're almost ending the meeting and then basically oh, okay, like, I did. Elizabeth was sharing her screen initially. So. Okay, I didn't mean to take some of I didn't mean to take some of your your time that we would have gained back yet you talked That's about fine. the issue. All right, all right, all right. Thank you. Yeah, sorry that was confusing because I stopped sharing and then yeah. Yeah. we actually have a doc clear. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, it's about time for the end of the meeting anyway. So thank you, Enoch. It was perfect, perfect timing. <laughs> uh, thanks. Yeah, see you all later. Thank you so much for coming. We'll see yeah, you bye. in two weeks. Bye, bye everybody. Bye.